Well, hello on this Thursday. Don't be shocked to hear the sirens two days in a row because yesterday was the regular first day of the month. Uh, but today it's Severe Weather Awareness Week and Thursday is the day that they set aside to uh, do the uh, siren drills at 1.45 so you can practice at work or school and 6.45 in the evening so you can practice at home. It seems far from any kind of severe thunderstorm weather. Three weeks in a row now of a major storm system. This is looking back at the middle of the week last week and the middle of the week the week before. This is the third week in a row, giving us a grand total of nearly three inches of precipitation. So about 80% of our normal precip for April and almost double the normal amount for March. So uh, definitely a wet spring so far. Yesterday we were tracking the position of the low and we can track it further. It's even slower over the last 24 hours. The, the last 22 hour progress, seven miles per hour slowing down from 10, 11 miles an hour. So yeah, hurricane speed, very slow. That's why we're having third day of precipitation, but the center of it is making progress eastward. This is the western edge of the clouds and showers today, and this is what we call a vertically stacked low. It means the upper low and the lower low are on the same position, and that's part of why it's moving so slowly. Normally these uh, develop ahead of the surface low. Uh, and high pressure to the west, that is going to be influencing the weather as we head into late tomorrow and Saturday, bringing us some sunshine, finally, uh, as the system continues to pull away. But it's going to be pretty short-lived, about a day and a half of sun. We are going to see some more clouds move in for the afternoon Sunday. And still some of these rain and snow showers rotating through today. I don't think we're going to see accumulations here in southeastern Minnesota, including the Twin Cities but you will continue to see snow showers. The focus today really shifts to the south shore of Lake Superior. Uh, the north shore finally seeing snow wind down that, there after 12 to 13 inches has fallen. And then a little pocket of some snowfall in southwestern Minnesota too and some heavier snow bands. But in between, uh, mainly just wet surfaces here with perhaps a little slush briefly on the grass uh, here and there. But winds finally subside after another windy day today and tomorrow. Tomorrow night is when we'll see the winds lighten up uh, as that low pulls away, high pressure settles in. Tomorrow night, pretty quickly after dark into Saturday, much lighter winds. And with the clearing skies, that means it will be a little chillier Friday night too to start off early Saturday. But wind gusts today of close to 50 miles an hour in parts of western Minnesota, uh, more in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range here in eastern Minnesota, but it's still blustery. This is the third day of wind as well. And we have another day tomorrow, even though it'll be dry tomorrow, we're still gonna have a pretty windy day Friday in the wake of that system. Clouds slowly clearing out. This is early Friday morning, northwestern Minnesota. Should see the sunshine much of tomorrow, but here's mid-afternoon. You can still see eastern Minnesota. We're hanging on to clouds. Maybe we'll see the last couple hours of uh, daylight clear out, but uh, tomorrow night will, and that'll lead to, again, some chillier temperatures and some fog. And while it will be dry tomorrow, it's not gonna be warm just yet, mainly 40s, 30s still where they've got the fresh snow and you'll notice that impact this weekend where they got that deep fresh snow 30s and only low 40s where the rest of us will be into the 50s here in the southern half of the state uh, Saturday and Sunday in fact still near 60 I think in southern Minnesota Sunday afternoon but with clouds moving in for the afternoon probably will keep most of us in the 50s across the southern half of the state rather than 60. And we do have another weak disturbance coming through. This is a clipper system. This is a fast moving, not a big precipitation maker kind of deal, but mainly northern and western Minnesota will see some, uh, a few rain and snow showers, maybe a sprinkle here, but we're talking about the formation of another big storm system for the middle of the week next week. This will be four in a row of midweek significant storms. And this time it'll be taking even a little bit more further north, a little bit warmer track. And that means we're gonna see some of this energy for thunderstorms try to make its way further north. Big question as to how far, how, how far north severe weather can get next week because how far will the warmth and moisture get? Right now, Storm Prediction Center is concentrating uh, in this very early stage, mainly to our south, southern Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, but that could shift a little bit further north. They've been mentioning that in some of their discussions because we're gonna be tracking, where's the warm front set up on Wednesday? Some of the models have the Twin Cities into it. If that happens, we could see 60s and 70s in southern Minnesota, but if it stays further south, that will keep the risk of severe weather south and also some warmer temperatures for the south. So big question, that's still six, seven days away, uh, but something we'll be keeping an eye on here over the next several days, of course. Chilly yet today, normal highs 53. We're gonna be around 39 only Thursday. 40s tomorrow, decreasing clouds. Saturday will be the day to get out. A chilly start, but sunshine and average temperatures finally, Saturday afternoon. Few more clouds around Sunday, better chance to the north and west of a sprinkle, but could have one or two of those here in southern Minnesota, and then uh, continued mild through the middle of next week. But again, we are gonna be seeing rain developing for the middle of next week as well.